Hi, I'm Christophe Chu with Coldwell Banker Previews in Beverly Hills. Today I'm at the historic Patio del Moro in the heart of West Hollywood, an amazing architectural building designed in 1926 by Arthur Nina Zwebel, one of the true forerunners of court-style buildings here in the Los Angeles era in the 1920s. This building is truly has historic significance, unique architectural design, from the Moorish details, the Spanish Revival architecture, the amazing outdoor fireplace and all of the extensive details and unique features throughout the building. A wonderful fountain which you'll see shortly and I especially love the copper domed Tunisian tower above. So take a quick look at this beautiful courtyard with me and then come on a tour of the beauty of the interior units. This is probably my favorite spot at the Patio del Moro. This wonderful inner courtyard which is so serene and whimsical and fun. And what a great place to come enjoy a light afternoon out here in the beautiful tropical gardens, enjoying the picturesque details of all the 1920s original tile, the wonderful sounds of the fountain, and the beautiful architecture surrounding you. What a great place to hang out and just relax after a long day. We're here inside the amazing Casa del Sueño Mezzanet apartment here at the Patio del Moro. An incredibly unique unit with architectural details and beauty beyond any other building I've seen here in Los Angeles. Again built in the 1920s, when you look at this unit, the amazing soaring ceilings with hand-painted beams, the beautiful plaster relief peacock details on this two-story fireplace, original handcrafted tiles, the oak wood floors, three amazing terraces, as well as a beautiful Moroccan sunroom. A truly gracious apartment that was also the owner's unit for several of the owners in the past history of this building. It's a townhouse unit with three bedrooms, two baths, gorgeous kitchen, gorgeous dining room and amazing and wonderful unique details for you to enjoy. Well, we're inside the remarkable and very special Charlie Chaplin unit here. Just imagine Charlie Chaplin actually living in this amazing apartment and why wouldn't he when you look at all the gorgeous, gorgeous details in here. Again, the beautiful peacock fireplace, the high beam ceilings, the original wrought iron light fixtures, and the beautiful window views of the courtyard. Now a fun bit of trivia about this unit, Paulette Goddard, his then girlfriend, lived behind. And there's a secret passageway between her kitchen under the building into his private courtyard. So we'll show that to you in a bit. But aside from Charlie Chaplin, this building has a lot of Hollywood history. Troy Donahue, Paulette Goddard, and also Humphrey Bogart and Joan Fontaine also called this home. And of course, when you see the history, you'll know why. I love the alluring details such as the amazing Tunisian archways into many of the different rooms in the building. But this is Paulette and Charlie's dining room. And one of the neighboring residents told us a story about her as a little girl and her mom. They'd send a limousine to pick them up, they'd come down, have lunch, and they'd head off to the races. Pretty cool, but I can only imagine what other stories this room may tell. And one of the cool features, one of the many cool features is the amazing original 1920s mail door right here to get your mail. Pretty cool, don't you think? Peekaboo! So this is the place Paulette would sneak out through her kitchen through a secret copper hidden passage underneath the building through this door right here into Charlie Chaplin's private terrace. What a great place for them to get together without the prying eyes of Hollywood being all over them. This is it everyone, this is Charlie Chaplin's bedroom, his inner sanctuary. And it's a perfect spot in the building because it's quiet, it's located kind of on the back side of the building so he had lots of privacy here. There's so many wonderful details. One of the things I love is all the original wrought iron handles to open and close the windows. Pretty cool. I love that kind of thing. So now we're inside Paulette Goddard's apartment, conveniently located right next to Charlie's unit. It's a gorgeous unit. It's another townhouse, two bedrooms, two and a half baths, beautiful dining room, gorgeous kitchen with that secret passageway again and a wonderful, wonderful outdoor terrace area with fountain, lounge areas, and dining. What a special and magical unit here at the Patio del Moro. We're here at the rooftop terrace of Buddy Rogers' old apartment. And for those of you that are Hollywood buffs, he was Mary Pickford's second husband. An amazing spot because you're overlooking the historic Harper Avenue district and all the beautiful buildings surrounding, the beautiful copper dome Tunisian tower, and I especially love the fact that Leland Bryant, who is the architect of this building, his iconic Sunset Tower Hotel, one of the true significant pieces of Art Deco history from the 1920s, is right there to our left, overlooking this beautiful building as well. So once again, I hope you've enjoyed the tour of the Patio del Moro, this historically registered landmark, a true piece of Hollywood history, 
architectural unique significance and an opportunity for you to own one of the premier trophy buildings here in West Hollywood and Los Angeles. Thank you for joining me today.